Hi everyone, my name is Graham. I'm a technologist with Ryerson's physics program and today I'm in the physics lab and I'm doing a little spree screencast on um, something called the Arduino. Now I've got one here and basically the Arduino is a microelectronic controller, um, a microcontroller, and what it allows you to do is interface your computer to electronic circuits and you can actually write code that will allow you to change the way your circuits behave based on input they're getting, feedback they're getting from things like sensors that you can attach to this board. So it's quite cool. This is the latest uh, version of the Arduino. It's called the Arduino Uno. There's probably been about 10 versions so far, but uh, this is the latest that's come, that's come out. Um, I ordered this about three days ago online and it's arrived in the mail yesterday. Um, so basically it's quite cool. I'm just going to hook it up here. And I'm just going to plug in a USB cable, and I've already got a program that I've written that is going to start uh, blinking. So I'll hit cancel here. And essentially what I've done is I've plugged two LEDs into this board, and I've written a program that just causes them to increase in intensity, and then they uh, stop for a moment. They go to zero intensity, and they start over again, going from zero to very bright intensity. So that's the Arduino. And what I really want to go over today is um, getting the software installed that lets you write the, the programs that can do that sort of thing. So I want to basically show you how simple it is. Um, anyone could do it. It's not just for scientists, not just for engineers, um, artists, designers, anyone with an interest in uh, creating sort of interactive um, microelectronic circuits uh, can work with this very quickly. Um, it's designed to be easy, it's inexpensive, only about $30. But uh, there you go. Right now we're just going to jump in and go to actually installing this code. And we'll write a quick little program that will uh, do something similar to what is going on right now. So if I just jump over to my web browser, I'm already at the Arduino website, arduino.cc. And if I scroll down, it's got a picture. Now here they tell you where you can buy the uh, Arduino. And also you can go to a page that allows you to download the software. As mentioned, completely free, it's open source, you can get it for Windows, you can get it for Mac, for Linux. Um, I'm working with Mac today, so I've actually already downloaded a version for Mac. Um, took a little while on my Wi-Fi, so uh, I went ahead and did that before starting my screencast. With a faster connection, it can be very quick, so I'm just going to close that out. I uh, will go to my desktop, excuse me, and if I just click on this version that I've downloaded. It will unzip and we can now go ahead and install the Arduino software on our computer. So just drag the icon over to applications. It's going to take a moment to uh, do the actual installation now that it's unzipped. I'll just mention for older versions of the Arduino prior to the Uno, uh, you may have needed to install this FTDI USB serial driver. Um, with the current version, that's no longer required, so actually all there is to it is dragging and dropping uh, the Arduino software. And, okay, it's almost finished installing now, which will let us proceed. I can show you the environment, and we'll start writing our own, uh, our first little program. So, done. Now if I go down here, I'm just going to close this window out. If I go down to Applications, now I see that it's already installed Arduino in my applications list. If I click on that, uh, I just click yes, I want to install Arduino. I want to use Arduino. And now it's opened up into the Arduino environment. I'll just move it over a little so we can see and talk at the same time. So what we have here is the Arduino interface. This is the development environment. And basically Arduino is a very simple language. You can create what they call sketches. They really only require two um, components in any given sketch, a setup section and a loop section. And whatever's inside the loop is going to just reiterate over and over again. It's going to repeat um, indefinitely once you've uploaded it to your microcontroller. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and actually um, start writing a quick program. And it's going to be very similar to the one that I just showed you where we had the lights blinking. Um, but I'm just going to have them fade in and then fade out rather than just fade in and then go to zero. So I'm just going to say LED1, I'm going to set that as pin 11. I'm going to say define LED2, oops, and we'll set that as pin 10 on the Arduino microcontroller. Now I have the first required section, setup. And I'll just close this parenthesis. Now as I mentioned, nothing goes here. So I'll just put a comment, 
nothing needs to go here now. For other programs you will, but uh, for this one it's very simple, no need. So now I add in a loop section, similar structure. Now the software is based on C originally, but then it's it was uh, adapted into a language called Processing. Um, processing was used for the Arduino environment, and again, it was designed to be really accessible and easy to use. So I'm just going to create what they call a for loop here. I'm just going to create an integer variable called intensity, and I'll initialize it to a value of zero. Put in a semicolon. Uh, intensity. Um, I want it to continue to loop while our intensity is less than 255. Let's put in some spacing for clarity. And now I'm just going to say, after each iteration, I want you to increase by 5. So, great. Now I'll add a few um, commands within this for loop that I've just created. So I'm going to say analog, write, and we're going to say, um, we're going to tell LED1 to take a value defined by that variable we set up called intensity. We're going to put in a semicolon. I'll say the same thing for uh, LED2 and intensity. So they're both going to increase at exactly the same brightness. Now after each step, I'm going to create a little delay. We'll say 30 milliseconds, and there we go. Now, so that's going to increase our, uh, our, our brightness over the course of a second or so. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just copy this, and I'm going to reuse this code to decrease the brightness. So basically all I have to do is make a few little changes to the first line. I'm going to say we'll start with a value of 255 and while brightness is greater than or equal to zero, we will decrease our intensity oops, by five. And it's just going to um, do this for LED1, for LED2, and again it will delay just as it did before for 30 seconds. Now at the end of this, again, I'll just put in a little delay of, um, say, half a second, just so we can get the effect of it pausing before it starts to increase in intensity again. So again, I put a semicolon in at the end. Now what I'm going to do is verify that my code is written properly. So if things were not written properly, it should tell me if I forgot a semicolon or I didn't define a variable. But you can see that it said, okay, it's done compiling and it didn't register any errors. So that's fantastic. Um, our device, our program has been written. I can bring it up here. You can see the original program is on the, uh, the circuit right now. It's increasing and then stopping, going to zero. One thing I do before I can finish uploading uh, the program is to make sure that I've set the correct version of the Arduino. And finally, I'm going to choose the correct um, serial port to write the code to. So in this case, it's cu.usb modem fa1. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't necessarily write to the board properly. Once I've done that, I can actually just go ahead and upload my sketch. Uh, very simple, I just click the upload button and we should see the LEDs start to change now. Now what we've got is our LEDs increasing, decreasing, and going to zero for half a second. Very cool, it's changed the way the circuit behaves. It's a simple thing in this case, but this is a starting point and you can go anywhere from here. Um, people are doing amazing things with these, from creating drum machines to creating segways to you know monitoring their um, their thermostat and sending them text messages if the temperature is too low, that sort of thing. So you can really do anything. You can uh, have a lot of fun with this. I uh, hope you enjoyed this really brief introduction. As you see, it takes maybe five minutes to go from starting off without even having installed the software to having written our first program and upload it and see it start to behave. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching. And check with physics.ca physics slash Ryerson for more code, more, uh, more information on Arduino. Talk to you later. Bye.